Yo, what's going on, guys? Here we are, Wednesday night. Are we on Wednesday night? You guys, I am so, I don't know, like overloaded, overwhelmed, and I'm not complaining by any means. There's so much going on that my head feels like it's going to explode. You know, we started this, what are we on? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of when the document came out. We got Twitter going. We got Citadel going. We've got, there's so much to take in. And this kind of snuck up on us, didn't it? Um, you know, last week at this time, what were we talking about? Dark pools, dark pools, dark pools, you know, price action uh, to, to all of a sudden, all of this compounding into a massive pile of holy shit is what it is. It really is. Um, look at Nancy down here. Let's just hop right into this, you guys. That's why I'm uploading the video late. I had to take a nap because my head literally is going to explode with information. I am ecstatic about this. I really am. I'm not, you know me, I'm never going to pump anything I'm up. I'm never going to show anything that might be, you know, hey, hopefully this works out. No, but this is stupid, maddening, crazy. I don't even know what to say. Speechless. Look at Nancy down here at the ball game. She's at the ball game, you know, trying to enjoy a nice game, I'm sure, here, right? But look at her here. It's Rodney Davis at the top of the lineup. Speaker, no doubt, happy about that play. But she is known as a big sports fan, and often, after dealing with a lot of really difficult reporter questions related to what's going on in... It was Rodney Davis. One more time. At the top of the lineup. Speaker, no doubt, happy about that play. Okay, I've got a challenge, you guys. I don't have a big enough Twitter, tweeter, mobile, to tweet this thing out to get some sort of attention. Now, I could be wrong. This could already be done by now. But I guarantee you there's some people out here that can slow this thing down. Most of you can't. I can't. I'm a big dummy. I have no idea how to do that crap. Or be a lip reader. Somebody has to read these lips. The amount of... The stuff that gets uncovered by us savages, if some, I'd be surprised if somebody hasn't done that yet. So you guys, anybody have a big Twitter, tweet this out. We need to dissect these lips here because I'm telling you what, this is an important looking phone call. But she is known as a big sports fan and often after dealing with a lot of really difficult... Yeah, somebody has to do it. Please, you guys, somebody with a, a decent Twitter, blast that thing out or dissect it yourself. But I guarantee you by tomorrow morning, we're going to know somebody's going to at least attempt to do it, right? So just absolutely outstanding. Okay, guys, this here, you know me again. I'm going to touch on this really quickly. I don't ever, you know, the whole thing with the Yahoo, the price glitches and the float being off and all that stuff, I never talk about that because it's normally a glitch, right? I'll never bring that stuff up. I'm never going to bring something up that, you know, FUD category, shill category, whatever you want to call it, but I'm not going to bring anything up that's just a, a pipe dream, right? Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up here is because it is the Bloomberg terminal. Bloomberg is never wrong. Never, never, never. Now, on top of this here, there's more to come of this, okay? Um, I've read this here with Investape and then also down here, Jenny Mack. I just followed her recently earlier today, too. They are on top of this. Long story short, I will shut up. This here, look at the bit, look at the price. Okay, just take a second, take a peek at that. Okay, remember, this is Bloomberg. The title of this here is, check out the insanity and in the price imbalance on AMC Terminal. I need a fellow wrinkle brain ape to help me understand this, okay? Then you go through the comments in here, True Demon, Jenny Max in here too. She messaged somebody over here. So obviously, guys, let's stay on top of this. Um, I know some people get pissed when I bring something up and don't explain it all or go over it. You guys, the only time I'm going to do that, if I think something is ultra important, even if my small audience can see this, dissect it, share it, I don't give a shit. This whole thing is about us getting as much information as we can, right? So again, this is kind of premature. The only thing I am bullish as all hell is this is on Bloomberg. This is a Bloomberg terminal. This is somebody's screenshot of a Bloomberg terminal. Never wrong. What in the hell is going on, guys? So that is bullish as heck. I'm going to post that in there. Invest Ape and then um, Jenny Mack down here. You can click on her and follow her too. These folks look to be on top of this uh, matter here. So let's see what the hell happens, right? It's worth talking about, especially with that. This has been everywhere, you guys. I don't want to touch on it too much. I just want to give my opinion. Um, here's my opinion. Holy shit is my opinion. Again, 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, two, every day of the week, something pops into here that we cannot ignore. Look at this, such incriminating. You guys can read it. I want to keep this thing under 10 minutes, you guys. I've been saying that, and I've gone 18, 19 minutes. You guys know, most of you, I'm sure, know what this is, unless you've been asleep all day, right? Sold my AMC tomorrow. FY tomorrow morning, we are moving GME to 100%, right? This is with the senior vice president of Citadel. Um, with Citadel Securities head, execution services on January 28th, 2021, 148, blah, 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 blah. BB, Naked, all of these stocks here. This may cause some big moves, right? And then you go down here. I sold my AMC. We just touched on that. Symbols, AMC, GME, knock. BB, despite acknowledge, we aren't paying $3 billion worth. Each time a Robinhood customer market maker such as Citadel LLC actually buy or sell the shares and determine what price the customer gets at. Um, Unusual Whales tweeted this out with one more tweet we're going to cover with them too. In the Hood documents, there is discussion of selling stock before restrictions. That's all you need to know, folks. Right? I mean, holy Christ. Look at this here too. Speaking of this document here, do not adjust your eyes. This is a Charles Gasparino, Chucky himself. Is Chucky switching governments, you guys? Look at this. Look at the tweet that he blasted out here. I've been dubious of <laughs> about the Robin Hood Citadel conspiracy, but the sale of the AMC here looks pretty suspicious. See below. And it brings you over to Unusual Whales tweet that we just went at. Chucky, buddy. If it's true, man, welcome aboard, brother. It's probably a smart move because these dum-dums, Kramer will never do it. We know that. But some of these people need to undo the shit show that they have caused by saying some of the most moronic shit that has nothing to do with anything. As we know, Mr. Chucky Gasparino has. So let's keep a close eye on Chucky over there. Maybe he'll go AWOL tomorrow. Who the hell knows, right? Uh, you guys, another outstanding post. Ape Anna over here on the uh, subreddit AMC stock. Anna Slats. Uh, probably the best poster on, is that a word, poster? The best person, DD writing person on this subreddit. Outstanding. We've shared multiples of hers. Um, this is great. This is her. <laughs> she's funny, too. This one here, too. But look at the title of this. All members of Ken Griffith Fan Club, get in here now. This is not a post about how extremely fudged hedges are. Wink, wink. As you know, I appreciate Ken Griffin's honesty and forthcomings on the issue of the January short squeeze, in which retail investors were protected for making risky decisions in uh, falling securities. And then it's kind of smart-assy here, but really quickly, she's being smart-assy towards everyone else. And then look, look at this one here. Citadel interns, please do not read past this point, as it's super secret fan club. Have a good day, you heroes. Uh, look at this. Okay, guys, I think we're alone now outstanding super cute super awesome the one thing i'm going to pop this in there if you guys haven't read it 100 percent read it but the one thing i want to touch on is down here right no right here right here take a quick listen do some math in your head right grab your calculators citadel advisors filed on january 15 2021 with the securities and exchange commission his hedge fund is managing not 35 billion, but 235 billion to be very specific, right? 234, blah, 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 blah. Now, listen, Citadel's hedge fund filings with the SEC also indicates that some of the largest banks on Wall Street, such as JP Morgan Chase, Goldman Nutsacks, and Citigroup, are prime brokers, meaning that it's highly likely that they are other global systematic banks are providing margin loans that have helped Citadel advisors leverage from $35 billion to $235 billion. What have we been saying all along? Oh, by the way, speaking of leverage, tits up tracker, $1.4 trillion, that is another busted ass record. Look at that. From $35 billion to $235 billion. Yeah, folks, holy shit. Tits up tracker again. This thing, we're, what did I say last week? We're going to hit 1.5 by this week? Dude, I might be right on. I got two more days. I might nail it. I'm going to go check the video. I want to see if I was could get lucky like that. Anyway, look at that. RRP, 1.415 trillion. Busted another damn record. For crying out the loud. Crying out the loud, I said. 
Yes, I did. Uh, we haven't touched on any 13Fs in a while. I just popped over here for fun today, but take a look. Green is uh, new positions, as you can see. We'll scroll down this real quick. This is 928. Remember, these are just uploaded up here. When they bought the shares, we don't know. But again, bullish as all hell. 927s, 924s, take a peeky, weeky. 924s, 923s. We haven't even touched on this over here. So again, piling in. Oh, my favorite part. Remember, guys? Let's take a look. 537 total institutions. 459 of them are long, only 40 short. 38 are long and short. Hedged. Who gives a shit? 40 share, 40 short only out of the 537. Wow. Man. Buy some damn stock, boys and girls. This one, you guys, look at this. Yellow generation of investors is ready for anything, even a crash. Yes, we are. We've been talking about it for months, folks. Hedging, right? A trend that an entire generation of young investors has both noticed and cashed in on. Known as YOLO, right? You only live once. A couple little quick points in this that cracked me up. In June, a survey showed 72% of investors under the age of 34 felt confident in their portfolio decisions, according to E-Trade. For their entire life, the market has gone up. Think about that, too. That kind of clicked with me and dawned on me, too, right? Overconfidence can lead us to take on too much leverage. <laughs> yeah, you think? Some 80% of investors were born in the late 90s and after are willing to take on debt to invest. Think about that, too. How many people YOLO'd all their ducats, got some loans to buy some AMC and GME? People are trying to get rich overnight and low prob with a ro low probability bet, which is exactly what is gambling. Yeah, yeah. That's a huge part of what's going on here. Yes, it is. YOLO, mother bleepers. Part of that is going to bust Wall Street right and uh all the dum dums out there that wanted to short our beloved movie theaters and everything else go bleep yourself folks right so yeah is this your traditional way of investing and yoloing and and firing all your money into movie theaters and gamestop no but again you'll never see this type of situation you'll never have this opportunity again and i think we all know that right let's keep an eye on this this has got me jacked to the gills here Bloomberg, remember, I'm not trying to spread any fake news out there, but uh, holy shit. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, there's way too much to talk about. I just wanted to hop on and do some quick stuff here, but I my mind is literally going to blow up. I think it is. So if I'm not around tomorrow, uh, somebody find my house here in Seattle. That means my head is actually exploded. Uh, my two cats here, make sure they get some good homes as well, too, guys. Okay, let's keep an eye out for tomorrow.